Taking it for a ride has been one of the most highly requested songs on my channel, and I think it's time I finally went over it. Because it actually tells a pretty happy story, which isn't usual for the kind of songs that I cover. So, with me as your guide, let's get taken for a ride. Our main character is Marvin, probably referring to Marvin Yagoda, who is the founder of the original Marvin's Marvelous Mechanical Museum. The helpless land that he wanders into is just the world, and what he sees in the world makes him wonder if he's actually happy. And the reason it's referred to as light wondering is because at this part in the song, he struggles to feel anything at all. Marvin is depressed. I think you ought to know I'm feeling very depressed. Following the footsteps left by man is simply an observation about how anything you do is kind of just following on from what somebody's done before you. And while this is definitely a fair viewpoint to have, it's also quite miserable. And Marvin knows this, that's why he calls it so sadistic. Took a step into the elevator has kind of already been expanded for us by Tally Hall themselves. The third episode of Tally Hall's internet show is called Taken for a Ride. And the episode is about Andrew's dream where he dreams he's in an elevator. Last night I dreamed I was in an elevator. I'm a robot, not a refrigerator. And this elevator takes them to 15 different floors, each with a different skit. Now the actual skits are most likely just completely meaningless, and if it is meant to be representing what the song's about, then it's most likely just a portrayal of Marvin's confusion, because at this part of the song he struggles to find meaning in life. And as he starts to accept this, he also accepts the fact that he genuinely isn't happy. The painted whispered light mentioned next is Marvin's faint memories of happiness up on his forgotten hill. But this is also when things start to change, because now Marvin wants to find happiness. And he turns back to face the world which he no longer sees as a hell helpless lands. The stranded senate of the white brick house is referring to the white house, where journalists surround it and ask questions for their story. And seeing this, Marvin begins to feel, not quite happiness yet, but a stronger longing for it. And this is the part of the song where Marvin is actively trying to find purpose, he's sick of just sitting around. But he doesn't find it here, which is why he leaves with no answers to no questions. I think lonely paperbacks is referring to books. And they're either lonely because they're empty and need a taste of feeling to fill them with meaningful words, or what I think is they're lonely because nobody wants to read them. But why? Well because there's just too many distractions. Actions. The wooden sign that tells them to line up and they'll be happy is meant to be metaphorical, but this song is suggesting that it might as well be literal because that's what people are doing. People are literally lining up for short bursts of entertainment, be it a cinema or a theme park, or even just lining up to buy something that they're going to use to keep themselves occupied. All while these books stay lonely because they're just not as easy to enjoy. Staring at your phone takes literally no effort, but you need a little bit of emotion to be able to read a book. You need a little bit of care, a little taste of feeling. One secondary smile is talking about purposefully prolonging your smile to make it seem like you're happier than you actually are. And Marvin is doing this to try and make himself feel and make all the bad things go away. The chemistry is gone is likely referring to the chemistry in the brain that makes you happy. Because all happiness really is is the right mix of chemicals. For example, a cause of depression is the excessive reuptake of serotonin leading to a lack of it. In that case, the chemistry is literally not there and that's why you're sad. And taken for a ride kind of means to trick someone or deceive them. And this could be both Marvin trying to trick other people with his fake smile, or most likely referring to that wooden sign from earlier that promised happiness. Because Marvin is still not happy. And the actor that's referred to next is not a film actor, but a happiness actor. One who pretends that they are content the way that they are. And this actor is meant to represent all of us, that's why they use we all. We all think that there is no answer to our lives, and that everybody whose life is better than ours is simply out of reach. And this is very similar to the viewpoint earlier about following footsteps. But this time, Marvin sees it differently because he doesn't agree. He tells you to just get on with it. If you bumble, mumble, and make the rounds, things will be okay. It's useless just to worry because then nothing will change. And that's why the verse ends with please stop thinking because this is happy. He's no longer asking, he knows. Knows. And so Marvin decides to do just that, to stop thinking. Just a moment doing chores is literal in the sense that it doesn't matter what Marvin is doing. The point is that it's nothing special, he's just doing chores and yet there's something. He starts to feel and it may only be small but it's definitely there. But when he goes back to overthinking it, that's when it disappears. I mean Marvin has spent his entire life searching for and lining up for a little glimpse of happiness, that light on the long forgotten hill. And yet here it is just popping up out of nowhere. He doesn't know how to deal with it so it disappears. And while that may seem on the surface like a bad ending, I don't think it is. Because because Marvin was able to feel contentment out of nothing, and even though it went away, it will come back eventually. So thanks for coming on this ride with me, and Marvin, if you're watching, I wish you all the best. Thank you for watching, I hope you have a good day, and I'll see you later. Tully ball.